It's time to see how the sausage is made. We're finally cooking wieners today. We're doing from scratch. <laughs> this episode's gonna be gross. Wow, look at the bugs. Oh, oh my God. Come on now, give us something good. There what? it is. Oh, we gotta burst oh, out the side. Oh, God. Yes. Come on now, stop it, stop it, stop. Oh God, this one's just bursting out the middle. Everything's falling apart. Uh, I need a hug. <laughs> Welcome to what is either gonna be your favorite or least favorite episode of Without a Recipe. The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen, together again, for the third episode of Without a Recipe, Holidays. Today, they're making sausages? So strap in for a lot of wiener jokes. They either look like dicks, or they look like boo, right? They don't have the best look, they're very phallic. Sausage is brilliant, because it takes all the discard of meat that no one else wants to eat, and it puts it in a fun little dick-shaped food, and then we all go nom nom nom. The Try Guys will have two days. One day to grind and flavor the meat and put it in a casing, which should be fun to look at. Oh no, I have an explosion, shit! Oh, f burst. We got a popper, we got oh, a popper! Oh, we got a burst oh, out the side! Oh God! Then the second day to cook the sausages. Then they will present their wieners to a panel of judges. I'm gonna do what the Fumers don't know how to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jimmy Wong. I've been uh, cooking on YouTube for 10 years now. Just came out with a cookbook last year. I'm also an actor and a host, and I eat a lot of food, so that makes me qualified to talk about food. Hey everyone, I'm Rosanna Pancino. I host a very popular baking show on YouTube and also Baketopia on HBO Max. I have seen and eaten a lot of sausage in my day. How many? <laughs> <laughs> Lady never tell. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Sampson, chef owner of Rosso Blue Restaurant in downtown LA. Like baking, sausages are not something you should really season by intuition. You should have a, a percentage of salt that you're gonna use, and it's usually between two and 3% of the weight of the meat. If you go below that, it's gonna be under seasoned. If you go above that, it's gonna be over seasoned. So I hope y'all weighed out your meat and your salt and didn't just do it by eye. Oh, we would. Uh, we no, would have dreamed of that. Uh, as, uh, uh, right, so far, no mistakes. Let's sausage keep going. scientists That's over here. Level 101. To me, a, a really good sausage should have some nice snap. The way you get that is by stuffing it properly, not overstuffing it, not understuffing it. Sausage? That's a savory man's meal. I'm a savory man. I really think I'm going to win. I am worried about this one. I went full out in this season, and this is one I think I'm actually being truly experimental. As in, I don't think most people in the world have attempted this. We've got 45 minutes to grind our meat and flavor it up. And we're gonna bring the sausage fest. All right, bakers, in three, two, one, grind oh! your meat. Okay. I'm gonna need onion, of course. I'm gonna need bell pepper, of course. I, uh, I don't really eat meat anymore, but I do eat creatures from the sea. And one of my favorite delicious creatures, even though it makes me feel bad, Octopus, the sausage of the sea. I'm making octo dogs. I'm gonna take octopus and I'm gonna mince them up and then I'm gonna make my little sausages have little legs to look like octopus. I'm gonna make a Chinese chicken sausage. Now, not just any old Chinese. I love the Northern Chinese food, the stuff from like the Xi'an food, basically Szechuan. This one's gonna work, guys. It hasn't worked so far, but this one's gonna be the one. So far, the season hasn't gone great for me. I'm living in thirds, uh, living in third places, but every single one has felt like fourth because just the judges, the, the way they speak to me, Makes me sad. Kevin Bledsoe, he did not like my mac and cheese, and he was right, it was bad. You know, I'm good at cooking sausages on the grill, never made one, but at least after it's made, I'll be able to cook it. I am doing curry three ways. We've got a yellow curry with chicken sausage, a green curry with lamb sausage, and a red curry with pork sausage. Each of them varying levels of spice. Have you ever been at a Thai restaurant and you're like, I wanna taste all the curries? Now you can. Well, it's the season of evil, Eugene, so this episode I'm using bugs. Oh my god. I'm making bugwurst. Bugwurst. Isn't that funny? I'm going to attempt to make a sausage made out of bugs because sustainability is important. Also, I want to scare the judges. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe go a little more Cajun style. So, bandegi is a, actually a silkworm pupa. 
and it's very popular in Korea. Watch me make a recipe that they use 50 years from now after the earth is doomed and everything is just, just bugs. They're just like, well, what are we gonna do? And they're like, there was this relic my grandfather told me. And that's what they're gonna eat in the future because we don't take care of our planet. Today we're gonna use traditional, very traditional Italian recipe, straight up just pork sausage recipe. Very simple, very basic, but to me that's always the most delicious thing. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out all our ingredients. And picking the right cuts of meat is also important. A lot of times if you use a leaner meat, you can actually add in pork fat back. But today we're using belly, which is high in fat, and shoulder, which is also high in fat. Should be the right, like, 30% fat in the sausage. Rachel, uh, off camera, told me that I was crazy for trying to do three different proteins. Well, does she know full throttle net or does she not know full throttle net? That's right. That does sound like a lot to do, though. I gotta make some rice. By the way, we don't always shoot these episodes in order, so I'm not bleeding. I was just making a gingerbread house. Stay tuned for the finale. In this sausage, there is no meat, so I'm hoping that the rice can at least balance it out and absorb whatever I'm putting in there, because I don't know if the bugs will. I'm uh, gonna cut some potatoes here. I don't know if I can cook a potato in a sausage casing, so we're just gonna boil them, do a rough chops on these veggies so they go through the grinder with the meats. Because I'm doing insects, I am leaning very heavily into Cajun spices because I don't think everyone likes bugs. Mm. Just get these potatoes. All of my curries are basically protein, potato, and veggies. So I'm gonna try to take everything that is in some of my favorite Chinese dishes, which is typically bell peppers, onions, dark meat chicken, some star anise, Szechuan peppercorns, uh, lots and lots of flavors, grind them all up together. You know, I feel really bad whenever I eat octopus because they're so smart. They're like little aliens in the ocean. But then Keith told me that they only live to be like three years old. Most of them, yeah. Most of them. So the big ones, you can be like, that's okay. He's an old guy. Some seafood I think is better for sausages and other, like shrimp and scallops tend to have a lot of binding proteins. If you tried to do squid or octopus, for instance, you could do it, but you would have to cook it first because it just won't grind. So I'm just not gonna cook this. I mean, let's just friggin' go for this, I guess. Whoa, what? Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh no. This is horrifying. We've got no meat coming out, but like, am I pureeing? It's spurting out. How, I put so much octopus in, but nothing's come out yet. You know, I've never heard of an octopus sausage. Yeah, guys, there is just like slut, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm trying to make this like, essentially vegetarian except for the bugs. Theoretically, this is a me meal of the future, right? Exactly. So I'm trying to make it all animal free. So I'm just gonna balance out my meatlessness with tofu. The whole idea is to make it smell as <laughs> taste as good as possible with the bugs included. So you wanna keep everything as cold as possible just because the proteins that you need to bind the meat together, they work better when they're super cold. There's a lot of ways to ruin your sausage at this stage. One of them would be, for instance, adding hot or room temperature ingredients to the sausage. A little bit of taters in here. A little bit of taters in here. A little bit of taters in here. I do declare, I think I might be f What if you switched to bacon? I know you had all those eloquent pre-thoughts about this and why it was gonna be brilliant, but what if you just didn't do that? Well, I think I may immediately have no choice but to abandon this. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, this texture is not grindable. Green, what else is green? Cilantro, green onions? Sure, that could go in chili. What else is red? You guys ready to see if I spice my bugs correctly? That's a lot of peppers. Can I taste? I think the problem is that it tastes canned oh. still. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's just do that. 30 minutes. What is this, Keith? Is this pork? This pork belly, yeah. All right. right. Chicken thighs. It. Chicken and pork. My favorite combination. That means it's grind time. Grind time. Let's grind. All right, so I'm gonna turn on my, my machine. I'm just gonna start feeding through there. Again, try to work as quickly as possible so that the meat stays nice and cold. Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting stuff. Oh. Oh, look at you go, Keith. It's working. <laughs> Is a dream. There we go. Wow, look at the bugs. Whoa, look at the bugs. Oh God, look at the bugs. Ew. The bugs look a little bit like rabbit poop though. Yeah! Woo! 
Why does it look so crazy? You want the blade part to be touching the disc. Because otherwise, if it's this way, it's just gonna kind of mush the meat and not, not be a good thing. It's like spicy tuna. It does look a little wild. Is this also too tough? Is pork belly too fatty? No, Zach, your blade is on backwards. Is the blade backwards, maybe? Yes. Oh my god. I'm really not having a good time. I mean, it counts. 15 minutes. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. Okay, that's sausage number one. Moving on to green lamb. Okay, so for my um, sort of Cajun vegetable medley, I have mushrooms, jalapenos, red and yellow bell peppers, onions, garlic, celery, and tons of spices. Are they appetizing colors? I don't know, but they are colors. Hey, we got chicken! God, I should've just started with chicken. We have chicken thighs, bell peppers, mushrooms, onions, potatoes in there right now. We've got some cilantro, some ginger, and then we got some spices here on the side that I'll, I'm just gonna pour in and work in manually. I've got chicken and pork toothpaste. I think the pork belly's working now. I'm feeling better. A lot of time was wasted, but uh, I've got 10 minutes to just throw all this in a pot. Now let's bring on sausage number three. Oh, this one's so red. Oh, this one's so red. Now I'm adding my tofu. So here's my ground meat. I'm gonna throw it in the freezer while I weigh out my other ingredients. 400 grams of meat. I'll try to do it in my head. 2% 2 salt, 2% 2 of 2,400. 48 grams of salt, 5% wine, half a percent of fennel black pepper. And I'm just gonna dump them in. Here we got cumin, Szechuan peppercorn, star anise, salt. Uh, Chinese five spice, sure, why not? I don't have time for each individual spice, so I'm gonna do Chinese five spice. There's five of them in there. All right, cumin's going in the lamb. Paprika is going in the red one. Chipotle chili in the, oh, that was a little too much. This is my uh, Cajun rice I made. This is as spicy and as flavorful as you can get away from You're bug. dumping it in there. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna start really mixing. And this is the important part. It's almost like kneading a piece of dough, but it's so important when making sausage to, to get these proteins to stick together. And this is what's gonna help the sausage stick together in the casing so it doesn't fall apart. So it was a way to tell if it's ready should stick to your hand when you hold it up. That's ready. It smells really good. Here we go. <laughs> it feels hilarious. Mine is wet, I'm gonna tell you what. Yeah, mine's wet. Yours is really wet. Yeah, well I, I poured just straight up kimchi juice in there. Five minutes. Uh, well this turmeric is really working a long way for this yellow. Can you um, just dump panko all over me? Yeah, that's good. One minute left. Freaking did it. You got you all said three? It was impossible. You said the I word. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I put in there. Kimchi, plum, paprika. You know how it was like too wet before? Mm-hmm. Well that's that's why I'm like, I'm just gonna lean in. It's gonna be oh, okay. Zach's wet sausage. Ooh. Three, two, one, hands off your meat. All right, we're gonna chill our sausages and then we're gonna put them in casings. After a little break, the guys will have 45 minutes to stuff their meat into casings of their choice. All right, now is the time to choose whose intestine is right for us. We got Piggy, uh -huh. we got Sheepy. Are you not gonna start with the sauce, Keith? Doesn't sauce like take a long time? Yeah, but I don't know what the f I'm doing. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make a sauce and I'm gonna watch you figure it out. This is a honey plum marmalade soy sauce. So I'm using vegan casings because our lovely producer Rachel is vegetarian and she said she wants to try the bug sausage. Oh, Rachel, why don't you try it now? Rachel, come try the bugs. Where's the spoons? I haven't had bugs meat in, in like 15 years. It's not meat. It's um, I mean, it's bugs. It's Exos ex exoskeleton. It's the juice. meat of the future. And also, I'm I'm pouring you wine, but you can only have it if you try it. <laughs> Sorry, we only have a half class. Right? She loves it. <laughs> Woo! Meat of the future. What does it taste like? What does it taste like, Rachel? I don't love it. It's pretty spicy though, that's nice. I flavored it. There's um, there was a crunch. Mmm, yum. Oh, it's... it smells off. No, no guys, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I just walked by it, it's I terrible. wouldn't come close. What are those? What are those? 
Y'all thought bugs would be the grossest thing in this episode. Most natural occasions come dry packed in salt. First, rinse in cool water and soak for 15 minutes. Oh wow, they really change when you soak them. They really do. This is a different texture. We're using a natural hog casing today. The casings uh, usually come in packed in salt. So you have to soak them and then you need to wash them by just running water through them as well. Well, the water is helping it really be as gross as it can. Okay, here we heck and go. They always just shove this hilarious amount up here, right? That's what it's for. So the first thing we're gonna do is our really cold uh, farce. Here the important part is to make sure it's really tightly stuffed in there. So you really want it pressed in. You don't want air pockets in there because any air pockets that are in there now will come out in your sausage and create bubbles, air bubbles in your sausage, which is not good. Whoa! Oh. That was air. It's a balloon right now. I didn't expect that. <laughs> it feels like, a like dog. it does feel like I'm a clown. Why is it doing that? So soak it for 15 minutes. Open one end and let warm water from faucet rinse the entire length. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Have you ever slid your hand down intestines? I have now. Oh, I'm supposed to rinse out the inside. Oh, then we gotta start over. <laughs> but I can't serve those because I didn't rinse out the inside of the thing. But that's okay, we, we got enough. But now, they can? What if the middle's full of poop? What if it's full of poop? Could it be full of poop? I don't wanna serve that to the judges. I'm gonna do what the Fumers don't know how to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They, keep, they make babies. We put a little water on a, a sheet tray or a cooking tray here. Just makes it easier to kind of lubricate the tray with water. So as it comes out, it can move around and you can form your coils. And now he's just gonna feed that all the way onto the extruder. If you try to do this <laughs> any other way, I think you're just asking for trouble. This is the way to do extruded sausages. You have to put the casing onto the extruder first, and then you'll see why as it starts coming out, it just feeds itself. Uh-oh, Keith, huh. did this start sliding off when you were doing it? Uh, no. Well, mine is. Oh, there it comes. Oh, there it comes. Oh, that's, oh no. That was like a straight up dookie. I would just go on a really, really slow setting, especially at the beginning. If it's coming out too fast, it might overstuff and even burst. Uh oh, we got a popper. We got, we a, got popper. a popper. We got oh. a popper. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, we got a burst oh, out the side. Oh god! I gotta be the little Dutch boy with the finger in the dam. Oh, burst! Oh no, my burst! Oh no, I have an explosion! Shit! We just gotta keep going. We can just just circumvent it. No 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 shit okay well that's oh no stop it turn it off turn it off we got a sausage hey all right so I have a a burster here I'm just gonna slice it and start over okay I'm actually getting a better hang of this if I put a lot on the um nozzle and I guide it, I can fill it more evenly as I push the bugs in. <laughs> kinda. I'm kinda having fun. It's a different kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, we got a big break. Yours are some massive hogs, my bro. Thank the you. The legend <laughs> is true, baby. So pricking the sausage is very important. We're gonna use this to prick it, to let out any air, and it kind of shrink wraps the stuffing onto the meat. But most importantly, what it does is it removes air pockets from your sausage. What could this possibly be for? I don't wanna use this. What is this? I don't see how they, using this would be helpful. Well, it looks like no one is using their sausage pricker. Now I've got some air situation here, that's cool. How could they ignore their little prick? I feel like there definitely is a skill set here that requires a lot of experience that we don't have. 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes. Oh shit, I really gotta do my other proteins. Can't find the hole in this one. Don't you hate when you're just trying to get your sausage on and you can't find the hole? Can't find the hole. Oh my God, my nails came in handy for once in this season. I'm gonna get a lot of foreskin on this one. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Shut up. No, don't actually shut up, but you know what I mean? Like, shut up, that's not enough time. 
Okay, so that's all the meat we have for this little sausage, but it came out good. So now he's tying it just to tie it off. So now we're just gonna poke out the sausage to get rid of air holes and it kind of shrink wrap. He makes a link, he's gonna turn it towards him. And then the second one, he's gonna turn away. That's gonna create these links. How am I doing this one right? This one's like rocking and rolling. You have to give it more foreskin than when you circumcise it. See, like you got more, um, more turtlenecks to play with. So these are the ones I'm gonna serve because these are the ones that might have poop in them. <laughs> we don't think they do, but we don't know they don't. So we're gonna go with this six, seven, seven that we've made. They're mostly the same size, similar girth. Some of them are big daddies. It's just Again, it always gets to the same length. Look at all this intestine wasted. We are getting straight to the red. I don't have much casing left, so I'm just, just squeezing it all out until it turns red. Come on now, give us something good. There it is, there's it red, okay. And how much time we got left? That's not enough time to make a sauce, and how, how could I do it? <laughs> if you have time, then I could use uh, help just washing off the casing for when yeah, I can have Yeah, yeah, bro. You know what, Keith? Huh. Can you hold my sausage? Uh huh. Yeah, my sausage tends to be a two-hand experience. Yeah. Five minutes. Keep grinding. Keep grinding, baby. God, this one's gonna be spicy. I can smell it from here. Well, I'm sort of in the middle of the last two, and then that'll be it. Nice. I really just need to not break it! So now he's bra what he's doing is braiding the sausage links so that we can hang them. Braiding them almost like you braid your hair, if you have hair. And we would hang it in the walk-in refrigerator and just let it dry for a couple days, dry out the skin. It's getting like globbed up and you're getting a lot of pressure mm. uh, up top, and we really just gotta massage that pressure out. Yeah, just massage my sausage down. I'll keep kind of working it up top. I'll keep my hand around the base. You focus on the tip. Okay, we gotta stop. Okay, why? We got a, we got a hole protruding right here. Okay. Maybe it's not gonna come out. Maybe we, well, let's just stop, let's just stop. Let's so just you stop. think this is just two sausages and call it? I think it's three. I think it's three. I think it's three. So you're gonna wanna tie this up. Hey, look at that. Look at that, we got three. We got seven wieners a piece. Wait, why are you cutting it? Don't you have to? No. What? No. What? Why would you cut it? I, that's what I thought you had to do at the end. No, it's gonna plop, it's gonna fall right out. That's why, I, that's what I've been struggling with. No. You just leave them, you leave them like this? Really? Haven't you ever seen a meat chop? No. The wieners, they hang, then they, then you cook them. Oh, and then you cut them. And then you cut them. Well, that's something I've been f***ing up a lot. Oh, Zach. One minute. Okay, well, let's do one more real quick. Oh, well, there's no time. There's one, wait, there's wait, this time. One, here, this one's, uh, this one's ready. No, Rachel. <laughs> no. Now you want to make a lot of sausage together? Uh, yeah, man. I'm just pounding it in there. Just pounding my meat. Break them out, break them out, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just go for it, bro. Go, 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 go. 30 seconds. Come on now. You gotta give me something. Tie it off, don't poke it, don't forget about it. Oh no, I'm f Oh hey, God, it's oh God. Hey, no, no, Zach, no. We're tying, we're tying them off, we're tying them off. You got a long one, you got a long boy. Three, two, one. Oh. Hands off those wieners. Yes. Hands up. All right. <laughs> Welcome to day two in the Tri Kitchen. The guys will have 30 minutes to cook their sausages and serve them to the judges before one is crowned the big wiener. We've got eight perfect sausages each. We crushed it yesterday. Came out great, and we didn't even have to use the tiny Wolverine tool. I suggest you use it. Am I gonna be raking a tiny sand garden? How? What could it be? I highly suggest you use that. During the cook? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I guess I'll just kind of give my sausage little pokes so that it doesn't explode. Explode. Would that be cool? We're gonna do a medium high. This is fun. I can see little pieces of plum. Let's just <laughs> These sausages we made a few days ago, you can see the colors kind of darkened. This is where we want it to be when we actually cook it. These I could grill whole like this, but I personally don't like that. I think it, it tends to overcook and burst the the skin. So the way I'm gonna cook it, I'm basically just gonna butterfly it and then open it and kind of lay it flat. So gonna cook them as buddies. Look at that. Keith, uh. just the second that I put mine down, it what? burst. It burst? Because it was at a two. My plan is I'm gonna kind of get a little nice sear going in the pan and then I'm gonna transfer to them to the baking tray until I reach my temp, which I guess is 165. I don't have to care about the temperatures much because mine's already Yeah, yours is good. Cooked bugs, I think my sausage is in, too. I want them to cook probably 80 to 90% of the way on this side, the, the cut side. 
Wow, look at that. Oh, so good. Once I see that juice start to sizzle a little, I know it's cooked. Just the way I like it. Wow, you're going for all of them. Yeah. How long do you think these need to cook? I don't know. Well, I was just gonna do one and figure it out, but now I'm nervous. It's so weird with all this butter and seasoning and spice and garlic, I can still smell the bugs. Oh, I can smell the curry. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of mine are also bursting. We've lost some boys. Wow, they're really all breaking. Uh-oh, what's happening? That one just kind of shrunk. Oh, then this one's exploding. That's cute. Oh, God, it's really exploding. Oh, dear God. Wow, they're all bursting. All of them? Well, a lot of them. Not all of them, but... You just gotta burn the edges. Maybe. What's happening here? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at it. They're just, they're just vomiting their guts out. I don't know what to do. I'm used to not... I'm used to cooking on a grill as well, not in a skillet. Maybe that has something to do with it. Should I have double bagged it? I mean, using two condoms is safer than one. That's what they <laughs> always say. 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, no! Come on now, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop, stop, stop it. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs> what could this thing be for? There's no way that whatever that is, it's gonna prevent them from bursting. I'm poking them, because I think it'll help them stop exploding. Wait, did your sausage explode? Oh yeah. You know, this one's just slowly sopping out its guts. It looks like you're also building an hamburger. <laughs> oh shit. Look at this with me. It doesn't look cooked. It looks burned and raw, right? I can't say that I'm making no, any that progress. Made it worse. I was just trying to twist it back together. Everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Just you're on a four. Just stay in there. I'm on a one. I don't know, Zach. <laughs> I don't know. It's all going to shit. I don't know. Man. It seems so simple. I like this steaming technique. That's it's, smart. I'm, I'm basically just convectioning it. Oh, y'all, you haven't lived until you smelled fried bug sausage. 10 minutes. We said what temperature? I'm at 123. Oh boy. That's not hot enough. I guess I'm gonna bake mine. I was gonna make kind of a cooling sauce, mixed coconut milk with an aioli. It's at 400. I would go higher. Why? You don't have much time. 425. I really want to flip these, but I think their vegan casing's falling off. All right, I'm just going to sit. Obviously, all this ground up sausage is done. Here we have sausage links served on a bed of sausage. Sausage two ways. We all love enjoying our sausages. Some people like the snap, some people hate it. I decided to serve a normal sausage and serve sausages inside out. Oh my God, beautiful. Look how juicy that is. It reminds me of growing up, going to the Festa dell'Unità in Bologna <laughs> with my friends. I don't think this sausage needs anything. I would probably just put a little bit of nice Tuscan olive oil. To me, that's, that's a perfect sausage. Five minutes to go. Five minutes. Okay, I gotta check what's going on in this oven, right? Um, oh boy. They're cooking though. They're cooking. Yeah, flip them over and put them back in. They're not gonna cook. Turn the broiler on. It's like a reverse grill. Oh, mine burst so badly. Fuck, what? this just fell apart. I I'm concerned about my sausage's uh, integrity. Uh, a couple of them are have burst open a bit. Uh, this one broke too. Good. <laughs> I, need not the I need a hug. Just because you're in a vulnerable moment. I got some, just some onions, just to be a little extra savory thing instead of a sauce. I, sausages always go well with onions. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two of my sausages basically just disintegrated. So I think my challenge is getting these four middle ones really intact onto the plate, because they might crumble. Okay, this one's 165. Three minutes. Okay, let's at least make the platter look good, Keith. I really thought this was gonna be one of the challenges I Apparently I will not be octodogging today. Oh, they're super bursted. Oh, f me. Just put me out of my misery. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's definitely burnt on the bottom, but I'd rather them get the illusion of sausage instead of cleaning that up. How many do I need to serve? I, I don't have five. Hey, you do. Yeah, I gotta cut this one. One, two, three, four, five. That's better than what I got. I got a platter. Okay. 55, 56, 65! Oh, you know, this is gonna really make a difference. 167! And where's the knife? Where's the knife? We don't have a knife. Do I have a knife? I need a knife! No, you can't use those knives. 167! Yes! No, I got a this knife! This, this is the only knife we have! Why does it got a one? I don't know. I can give you a pie slicer! Do you want a pie slicer? Do you want a pie slicer? Maybe it's this! It can't be that! Do we get it? 
judging criteria today will be presentation, taste, creativity, and is it a sausage? I like seasoning. I like flavor. I don't like bland. I'm a traditionalist, so my sausages, I don't necessarily need a lot, any kind of innovation. I like properly seasoned, properly bound sausage. Now, how do you get it to all bind together? You just mix it. You mix the crap out of it, basically. You want it to get to a point where it can stick to your hand. I kind of empathize with you guys. The first time I tried to stuff sausage, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm sure you probably had a lot of blow ups and tears and all that stuff. So everything you just said, we did none of that. Okay. <laughs> Judges, I love sausage. Uh, I love to grill sausages especially. I'm a fan of a bratwurst. Uh, but I wanted to make something a little trickier, a little less common. I chose chicken thighs as my fattier protein to work with and sort of made the rest of the flavors modeled after northern Chinese cuisine. So we have some oh. Szechuan peppercorns, some sar anise, and then a lot of ginger. And I hope you like it. Let's bring it out. Wow. Now, these several links not are bad. seated atop uh, many former links who have <laughs> turned into a bed of sausage. Sausage ragu. Sausage ah. ragu. The links look good. I'm a little concerned with, even though you made a very smart decision using chicken thigh, there not being enough fat in there. If you added some chicken skin or something, you can blanch the chicken skin and- I put in raw chicken skin. Okay. How about that? Yeah, I'm curious if that cilantro is in hiding something. <laughs> It's, it seems kind of strategically placed. Should we reveal it? Should we? You should, sure. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Dick, 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 dick. Well, a little tear, not too uh, bad. Not too, too bad. bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, you did. It looks like you did a pretty good job stuffing it. Wow. At least those those three right there. Yeah. We we'll just grab this guy right here. Ooh, I got another one. Look at that! Oh. You won. It kind of looks like the ragu a little bit on the inside, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just tastes like Chinese food. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a success. Thank you, judges. Uh, Ned. <laughs> I think it could use a little salt. Mm -hmm. I think it could have used a little more some kind of fat. It's a little grainy. Definitely has, is crumbly, that's for sure. And that's yeah. Yeah. probably not where you want to be. But the taste is good. And like our judge said, maybe a little undersalted. Yeah, it's just a little dry, a little crumbly, but I'm really proud. This is cooked. This tastes good. Yeah, I like the creativity. I like the uh, you know the mixture of, of flavors and colors. Obvious thing is just do a straight up pork sausage, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think you went outside of the, that comfort zone and also did something you know with Chinese influenced by Chi northern Chinese cooking, which is interesting. This is a great review. I'm really not used to this. This season's been rough. Let me yeah. just say, uh, Ronos, yeah. but you yeah. know it's been a lot of really. I mean, one of the episodes I fully was like this by the end of it. I felt fully beat down. So the fact that you mostly like it could have been better. To Actually, could have had more salt. Those are both great things I can improve on, and I'm really glad you liked it. So lastly, is it a sausage? Yeah. 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 Definitely a sausage. Right on. Hot dog. Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> no, taste the Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, good, Kate. It's got great flavor. You're right. It's definitely a little dry. Um, needs more salt, but I'm pretty happy with it. I am proud of myself. You should be. We're proud of you. Yes, proud of you. Good good job, Kate. I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you, judges. Thank you, chef. Judges, I've been a naughty little devil all season, mm. but today I play God. Genesis. God created the earth, the ocean, Adam, Eve, and he was like, you see all these animals? Eat the shit out of them. Oh. But there's some that we don't always like to put in our mouths. Oh boy. Until today. And on the seventh day, wow. God created Bugwurst. Oh. Bugwurst? Here it goes. Oh no, I see one poking out. So I wanted to challenge myself and say, could I create sausage out of insects? What you have before you is my take on sort of a Cajun boudin, so it's a rice sausage. It has a silkworm pupa, mixed dried insects. It has a medley of Cajun seasoning and vegetables, as well as tofu that I've treated into being sort of a sausage replacement. And outside of the insects, everything is vegetarian, so I tried using vegan casing. Mm. Mm. Well, Eugene, again, creativity. Yeah. This is up there. I've, I've never seen a sausage like, never even heard of one. This is very creative. I've never seen it 
in a sausage. I work with a lot of Oaxacan guys, and so oh, yeah. crickets are a pretty much uh, weekly thing, and we make tacos with it. They're delicious. I've never seen it made into a sausage, but I think it's important because future of food should contain things that are plentiful on earth and high in protein and nutritious, so I don't know if it's gonna taste good. <laughs> <laughs> if, it tastes, if it tastes edible, maybe our great, 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 great grandkids can uh, watch this and pick up the recipe. These are like Costco hot dogs. <laughs> Every episode has been a first for me. I have never had pig's blood. I've never had um, bull balls. Blood, balls, and bugs. <laughs> yeah. We're on the trip. Baby, baby. baby. <laughs> Happy holidays. Oh, oh a little bottom. burn on the bottom. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. It looks sort of like a uh -oh. Middle Eastern kebab as well. Definitely long to <laughs> I'm scared to look, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna look at it. It's kind of falling apart. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to get as much as I can here. It's actually kind of delicious. I love the spice. It's really good. The spice is good. <laughs> Being serious. Spicy, it's hot. You know me, I like you spice. Texture-wise, you know, for a sausage, it's it's really dry and crumbly, but but if I don't even think about that, it just yeah, tastes Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're working with like an inherent disadvantage because of your ingredients. Right. Because meat has all those proteins that are so like, they're eager to bind to each other. Yeah. So I think that's where your problem is. I think you were smart to try to use Love a starch to bind it. I would like it more if I didn't have to avoid the bottom half of it because it unfortunately adds that char grilled burntness. I know we're, we're kind of skipping ahead, but I'm thinking to myself, is mm -hmm. this a sausage though? Mm -hmm. It almost it has tastes- casing. And unfortunately, it looks more like a rice dish after you open it. Yeah. Almost like one of those like future places where you go and it's like, crack it open and see what's inside. It's seasoned perfectly though. Oh, it's great. I don't great. know if you eyeballed it or tasted it, but it's oh, really seasoned. Oh, it was eyeballed seasoned. and um, namely out of fear that the bugs would overpower. Yeah, the I don't bugs. taste the bugs at all. At I just all. I, I taste the seasoning and the seasoning is good. Uh, you chop this up enough to even make it, I can't really even see any. This is a piece of rice, it's not a bug. So I don't think, I would guess that it's bugs. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's good or bad, because like generally <laughs> you want to be able to taste what you're eating. There should yeah. be like a protagonist, you know? Yeah. It should be the bugs, but. Eugene seems a bit disappointed that we're not, we're not upset about the bug. <laughs> but the bigger question, the bugger question, <laughs> is it a sausage? It's shaped like a sausage. Mm -hmm. You did do a casing and, and you, d you did a different type. I would almost call it more of a, like a bug loaf. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a hybrid dish yeah. between a loaf and a sausage. Uh, it's close. It is close. I mean, is, or maybe. is a burger a sandwich? I'd say yes. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Let's not start this shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but the bigger question this season, of course, is, is it evil? I think it's actually not that pure evil. goodness. Like, Damn it! <laughs> you're, you're so good, Eugene. You're so good. This is the way we should be eating. Contributing to the planet? Yeah, yeah, good for the future. Damn it! Eugene, try, try to think of it this you. way. It was so bad, it was good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's well spice. It's mostly rice. So what's not to like? Well, I'll say this is the best bugs I've ever eaten. Judges, I did not cook. I let the muses speak through me. So the flavor that you're about to get today, why, it may even be a mystery to me. I did cook it though, it's cooked. I don't want you to think it's raw, it's, it's cooked. I just wasn't the one that did really it. really said it like it wasn't yeah. cooked. No, it's, it's, it's cooked, I checked the temperature. I proudly present Zach's Bursting with Flavor Mystery Meat. This is a pork belly and chicken sausage. Uh, we've got kimchi in there, a little bit of plum, a little bit of panko crumbs, and some other fun stuff. The sauce is a lightly sweetened uh, soy sesame oil sauce. Okay. Here's the deal, guys. I was gonna make little octo dogs, okay? I was gonna make an octopus sausage ah. and then cut them to look like little mini octopuses. Right. Turns out, even in death, the octopus is the mightiest creature on the planet, <laughs> and it refuses to get ground. And well, it did was... you cook it first? Sure didn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you probably ruined your, your grinder. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an admirable pivot, I guess. Mm -hmm. Presentation is 
pretty terrible. Ooh, well, yeah, unlike the other guys, so I didn't want to hide behind presentation. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to lay it all out. And wow. the flavor inside is so wonderful that it's just like chomping at the bit to get out. Well, I do think it's creative to combine meat, so it's not a single meat. Let's go big or go home. Is this the same sauce here? Oh, wow. it's too big. you really won. You won. Wow. Very soft, like almost weirdly mushy. Yeah, thank you so much. Very mushy. Yeah, it's the bursting with flavor part. I will say the taste is actually yeah. quite nice. Celery and onion, we have a little, yeah, it almost like a tuna fish sandwich. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, almost yeah. like a tuna fish sandwich. The texture's so on. How did you cook it? I put it on the pan, uh -huh. and then I shoved it in the oven. Considering, you know, the fact that you had to switch, you, you didn't do a terrible job. I'll take it. So I love the flavors and the taste, it's the texture. Do me a favor, Rob, just take it, squeeze it. Right, okay. See what comes out. Oh, here we go. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> so gross. Now, Flower look at dude. that. <laughs> but wasn't that fun? That was actually kind of fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Your original ideas seemed like a lot more creative, and obviously you had to rush. So the creativity is probably down a little bit, but I think the taste is really good, which is what the f was creative about his shit then? <laughs> well, he took like a whole different region of the world and turned it into a sausage. I put a plum and a kimchi into a sausage. You've never done that. It's true, I never have, and maybe never will. Pretty f creative. Yeah, y'all crazy. I think it's sausage. Yeah. This is 100% a sausage, yes. yeah. Yes, you made a sausage. Oh, sausage? Wow. I that might believe you. Tuna fish comparison is so... It's just like tuna fish. I, <laughs> I would believe you that it was tuna fish. Judges, I love Thai curry. My very first date with my wife was a little hole-in-the-wall Thai place, and we got yellow curry and pad seed. It's always been a food that is near and dear to my heart, it's just very cozy. So I have actually prepared for you today Thai curry sausage three ways. Wow. <gasps> I love Thai food. So we have yeah. here for you a yellow curry sausage, a green curry sausage, and a red curry sausage. Wow, look at the colors. Ned, extra crazy. The main protein in yellow is chicken, in green it's lamb, in red it's pork. The red is definitely a hot sausage. <gasps> yellow's gonna be a bit milder, and green I think is just right. Looks like you did a pretty good job of casing your, especially the, the ones in the middle, they yeah. look nice. <laughs> it is nice that we came and expected sausages, and voila, we got sausages. <laughs> So we're going the green machine first. Mmm. A little heat. A little heat, yeah. Then I like the flavor. The lime helps oh, with the heat. And this one looked yep. like a perfect little sausage. It's spicier than I thought. Definitely sweaty. I like the flavor. It's just, it's, yeah, it's medium, medium high, you maybe high. Yeah, I, I like it, I like it. Yeah, please. Well, uh, I, I like you it. to try the, the yellow one next. Okay, let's okay. move on to yellow. This one is... Drier, it's falling dryer. off my fork. It's a little under seasoned. Okay. Definitely evokes that flavor of a yellow curry really well. Definitely mm, getting the mm -hmm. curry. It's a little dry, but the flavor's good. Mm. A little bit of salt, I definitely, like even on the nose, like that yellow curry, like red, like I love get it. it. Yeah, my only complaint is the dry. Right, okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a little dry. But the, I guess that's typical with chickens. I'm learning stuff. Wow. Okay, should we move on to? Uh, move on to the red. Monsieur Red. Oh, it's, you said this is the spiciest, right? Hmm. A little high heat. Oh, it's pretty hot. <laughs> this one's spicy. I wouldn't say it's like, necessarily spicier than the green. Yeah, one. I think the green actually was spicier. Maybe it's how many chilies you end up eating with each bite. This one actually doesn't taste like Thai food as much as the other two. Mm. The yellow curry was the most Thai adjacent, and then the green one, I think the spice maybe overwhelmed it a little bit. You're saying that this one tastes a little less like Thai curry? I didn't yeah. realize when I was making it that I accidentally put in chipotle chili uh, than like yeah. red chili, and I was like, oh no, that's gonna it's be a different region of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Well, I say this is definitely quite ambitious. Having different Farces. That's what the, the filling is called a farce. Oh. Yes. Oh. Sausage farce. That's oh. what. This is a sausage farce. This is a yes. sausage this is a farce. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Slap me on wow. the ass and call me a wiener. Wow. We're in a farce. Wow. You're in a farce. Wiener. Wiener. Harder. <laughs> <laughs> So I think having three different farces, yeah, I think that was, was a, a lot to take on, but I think overall you did a really good job. Uh, is it a sausage? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely All three, three of them. sausages. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. it's hot. Yeah, it's hot, it's hot. It hits you, it yeah. hits you like Woo. midway. Woo. Yeah. And they all have bell peppers. Gets you a little rosy. <laughs> Thank you, judges. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we have the four dishes here in front of us from the guys. So first up, we have Keith's sausage on his bed of ragu and red onion. I haven't won in six episodes. <laughs> this would be episode seven of a, a not win for me. I think overall, like texturally, it was a little grainy. It needed salt. All right, next up, we have Eugene's monstrosity, bugstrosity. It's so creative. Yes, absolutely. Extremely and even though he was trying to be creative. evil, it was very creative. You made bugs great. Yeah, but I you think could, you could win. But mine wasn't a sausage. All right, next up we have Zach's second try sausage <laughs> because his octopus experiment seemed to have failed. I think it was kind of a fail. Um, yeah. yeah. Just the flavor, the texture. I guess I got to really try in the gingerbread episode now. Yeah, I mean, Zach's going to bring it, so you better not penis it. <laughs> Okay, and last up, we have Ned's Triple Thai Trio. I think he did a really good job. Like it, like I said, it was the only sausage that had that snap, and he was super ambitious yeah. using three different uh, farces. I cannot believe that thing about scrunching it up on the, oh, We're idiots. of course, We're of idiots. course that's how it is. It was spilling out just on its own when I was cooking it. It made little holes that looked the size of the poker's holes. I was worried about it. I was trying to poke it real gentle. And you knew to take that little thing and stab it while you were cooking it? Yeah, it said it on the back of the package that it was for- I thought this was without a recipe. Ned's got a little recipe with oh, the no, what everyone, is you guys we everyone like? read the package. No. Yeah, but Zach yes, and I just did. skimmed it. Uh -oh. You guys, we no. were all told to read the package. No. Yo. You Red want ass it. nasty tuna fish sausage and you're no coming way. at me I know right with my fucking intuition to think a pokey thing should be used to poke something. Oh, great intuition to read the package. Thank you guys for uh, today's food. It's, uh, I think overall you should be really proud of yourselves. I didn't have one spit out moment, which I was kind of expecting. <laughs> Everything was seasoned nicely. There were some nice flavors. When it came to deciding fourth through first place, it was really close. When we decided to look at what was fourth place, you know, this was a sausage that came to us not looking great. You know, there was a lot that was adorning it around it, trying to maybe disguise the presentation a little bit. It came with additional accoutrement, unfortunately. Zach, your sausage came in fourth place. Fiddle dicks! <laughs> Fiddle sausages, indeed. Fiddle sausage. Yo, you got me there. I thought for a second I didn't get fourth place with that delivery. That was good. It was close. Like, it was oh, close. Shit. I was excited. I was... It was close. Um, you know what? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for our third place sausage, I mean, all the, these remaining sausage were super creative, and it just came down to a couple things that really bugged us. Sorry, Eugene. Wait, are you saying my bug loaf <laughs> Your bug didn't loaf. get last place? <laughs> no. Because it wasn't evil enough? <laughs> Guys, I'm, so I'm really disappointed. Oh, man. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. This, this is my first chance uh, being higher than third this season. Same. This feels good. Well, yeah. Gentlemen, we've tried all of your sausages today. They were all delicious, but we can only have one winner. The winner? of the best sausage is going to go to someone who infused with some delicious Asian flavors. The oh, could be either. Nice wording, nice word. <laughs> Very good tricky. job, Rosanna. Very Very tricky. Tricky. Oh, here we go. Ned, you had the best sausage. Yes, yes, <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. thank you, judges. But Keith, yours was a close second. Hey, I'll take it. You know what? I feel good. <laughs> I feel good, I feel good. Feels good. Well, congratulations, Ned. You're the big wiener day, but we got one more episode left. Join us next week when we're making gingerbread houses. The most evil dish of all. Next week on Without a Recipe, Holiday Edition. Welcome to the finale. It's our hardest design challenge ever. Queer Eyes Bobby Park is here. Ah! Wow. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. How is this a leisurely activity for families? I feel like I'm working with a bomb.